Okay, what's up, my beautiful people? It's Malik Stanley here, and uh, today we want to talk about Asian Cup that is coming to Qatar. So make sure you watch this video till the end. And yeah, behind me I have Julia Barbara, who wants. Okay, so after the World Cup, there has been so many other major events in Qatar here, and one of them being the Expo. And now the upcoming one is the Asian Cup. Now the Asian Cup is going to be played here in Qatar from the 12th of September on... Uh, did I say September? From the 12th of January until February. So it's just going to be like two months event. So in today's video, we're basically going to talk about the volunteer jobs and uh, the paid jobs as well. Okay, my name is Malik Sterling. Let's get straight into today's video. If this is your first time watching me, kindly make sure to subscribe, like this video, because the more you like this video, the more YouTube suggests this video to other people so they can watch it. Okay, so first of all, just like I said, the event um, or the tournament is going to start after January 12th uh, and it will be hosted in eight stadiums. Initially, it was just seven stadiums, but they added one, which is the Lucille, where they played the final uh, World Cup game uh, between Argentina and France. So that is the same place that they'll be playing the opening ceremony, the opening game. Yes. So the first game for the Asian Cup will be played at Lucille. I applied for the volunteer. I wanted to be a volunteer because um yeah i have much time and you know it's fun to be there so uh <coughs> i applied for it i got an interview date i went there for the interview we received a gift like you know a small crest up here and um yeah we were told about how the event is going to go how the selection is going to go when selection will start and when selection will be ended so uh, we asked them that if you don't get selected how do you know that you are not selected um they said you're not going to know you're not selected because they are not they are definitely not going to email you and tell you yo you're not selected or this or this or that you will just not receive any mail so if you've applied to volunteer for the upcoming asian cup and you haven't gotten any email so far just know it up here that you are not selected so yeah that is just from the volunteer side now let's talk about the opportunities that this tournament comes with that is the asian cup um, the asian cup jobs now if, even if you go to google there are tons and tons of jobs that uh, you know this tournament comes with but most of them are I mean most of the companies that have this job are recruiting locally so if you are outside the country and you try to apply for some of these jobs the possibility that you not get this job is very high so um, I would suggest that if you're in Qatar just go to Google and uh, you know subscribe to Google uh, they call it something something I'll just show you on the screen because um, when you go to Google and you search for a job in Qatar you can put on notifications so that whenever there's um, opportunity for that particular job Google suggested to you now it's a two month tournament just like I said earlier on and um, companies or agents are trying to fly people in outside from Qatar to come and work here now the one thing that I'm excited about is of course it's going to bring more opportunity to people and people who want to come to Qatar again uh, would have the opportunity to come but one thing that you know saddens me most is that it's just a two-month contract and being two months contract let me tell you the bad side of it now I know people who even came here after the World Cup uh, they came with the so-called freelance visa to you know get a job look for a job and most of them are still here they've been here for like five months six months and they are still jobless they are still looking for a job and you 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 want to come here with a two-month contract you are not going to be given an id card because you need to be in qatar for like three months for you to be able to get an id card or let's say the qid so you come here within a month or two and you want to be given a qid so qid is like your residence permit if you have this here you can be able to work but if you don't have it so you are not going to be able to work or no company will be willing to you know employ you now let's get to the tricky part since it's a two-month um, tournament or it's a two-month event companies that are bringing you here are not going to provide you with ID cards they are probably going to give you an accreditation card and an accreditation card is nothing the accreditation card only gives you access to to your room and to your workplace that's it that's the only access the accreditation card gives you so if you're coming to Qatar on this two-month contract I've had people calling me from Ghana to verify some companies for them. I haven't done that, but because uh, I know this is not like a huge, you know, a huge company or, or like a huge deal, I mean. So it's a two month contract. And um, look, if you already have your job back home and you're doing it, please don't quit your job to come for this two month contract. Unless, you know, you are not in, into any serious company or any serious business that, okay, you just want to come to Qatar and explore. But, if you really have something permanent you're doing home something that you know is fetching you that money 
then please don't take this two month opportunity and have in mind or have 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 the intentions of you know coming to Qatar and to I spoke with this guy, he's also from Ghana. Why does he always have to be Ghanaian? He told me he wants to come with this <coughs> sorry. He wants to come with this two month job offer which he's going to only get an accreditation and uh, he's planning to come here and look for a job. Look, just like I said earlier on, there are people here who even try to change their job. They got this so-called freelance business and they've been here for like a year and they still don't have jobs. <coughs> they still don't have jobs. And you want to come. I know there's a possibility of you just getting here and then the following week you get a job, you get a company. But the possibility of you getting a company in just a week or even a month it's just going to be like one out of 50. Yeah, that's that's how tough it's going to be. That's how tough it's going to be because companies over here want to recruit people who are already established here, people who have visas, you know, visas that can be easily transformed or transferred to another sponsor. Mind you, I've said this severally that nobody works or lives in this country without a sponsor. A sponsor being a local entity that is a Qatari, right? So I've said that previously in my video. So, like I'm saying, it's not something to consider unless you have nothing doing back home and you still want to come because two months, okay, just come take salary for two times and just go back home. And it's also good for your travel history because you're gonna have the, uh, you know, the um, Qatar stamp in your passport. So in case you want to apply for any other country's visa, they tell you, have you, have you traveled before? You tell them, yes, I've been to Qatar and yeah, this is my travel history. So if you don't have all these things that I've said in mind, but you, you want to come here and you know, mini mini, try to find your ways around. I beg you, it's it's really going to be tough. And even with all that I've said, if you still want to come, it's okay to come. But just know that it's just a two month something, and uh, two month, <laughs> not even for probation. Because if a proper company should employ you, probation period is two uh, three months, and sometimes it's been extended to you know six months and stuff like that. So yeah, I think that will be the end of today's video. If you really like this video, kindly let me know. Uh, let's get conversative in the comment section. Uh, ask all your questions. And now we have our WhatsApp number on YouTube. If you want to ask any question, uh, if you need help, reasonable questions and reasonable helps. So don't just come in my WhatsApp and come and text me. Hi, hello. We are not friends. Please, don't 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 try to formalize or normalize things. If you come, just go straight. Tell me. I have a um, list of services that I provide. I provide over there. You can go through them. Select what you want me to do for you. Uh, these things consist of, you know, company validation, I mean, visa validation, CV writing, and some other stuff. So if you go through them, you choose whatever you want me to do for you, then we'll be in business. But if you come there and you're like, hi, how are you? Tell me more about Qatar. Please go to Google and go and ask Google to tell you more about Qatar. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe. I love you. Bye-bye.